वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू पार्ट ऑफ एच टी एम एल एंड बेसिकली सी एस एस स्टैंड फॉर कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट एंड सी एस एस डिस्क्राइब हाउ एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट आर टू बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन स्क्रीन पेपर और इन अदर मीडिया एंड द थर्ड पॉइंट इज सी एस एस सेव्स लॉट ऑफ वर्क इट कैन कंट्रोल द ले आउट ऑफ मल्टीपल वेब पेजेस ऑल एट वन सपोज वी हैव थाउजेंड पेजेज सो वी हैव टू वी हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर्मेटिंग ऑन ईच पैराग्राफ सेम फॉर्मेटिंग सो देन वील यूज सी एस एस अदरवाइज वी हैव टू फॉर्मेट ईच पैराग्राफ एंड इट टेक्स लॉट्स ऑफ स्टोरेज स्पेस एंड इट विल इंक्रीज द साइज ऑफ एच टी एम एल प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो सो बाई यूजिंग कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट वी कैन रिड्यूज द साइज ऑफ प्रोग्राम एज वेल एज वी कैन मेक आवर प्रोग्राम फास्ट एंड द प्रोग्राम द पैटर्न ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एंड द लॉन्ग प्रोग्राम हैविंग द सिमिलर फॉर्मेटिंग इन ऑल द टैक्स ऑल द पेजेज सो दिस इज दीज आर द बेनिफिट ऑफ कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट एक्सटर्नल स्टाइल शीट आर स्टोर इन सी एस एस फाइल सो बेसिकली कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज टू टाइप्स इज एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट आर देर वन इज इंटरनल स्टाइल शीट इंटरनल कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट एंड अनदर वन इज द एक्सटर्नल कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंटरनल सी एस एस फाइल इंटरनल कैस्केटिंग स्टाइल शीट सो यू कैन सी हेयर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल we have been um, we have been this cascading style sheet this is internal cascading style sheet in case of external we have to store the uh, separate file we have to maintain maintain the separate file and with extension of dot css file and that css file has to be included in our html program so you can see here the body tag basically we will start the program by html then head then we will write style so for cascading style sheet we have to start the program by style and uh, for body we are uh, mentioning the formatting color background is light blue so this is the body tag we are formatting the body tag means body color body background color will be light blue you can see here the body background color and heading color is white you can see here the color is in white and align is center and this heading is in center uh, center of the page center of the line and uh, then we have uh, given here paragraph e for paragraph h1 for heading and body for body part uh, so for the paragraph uh, font family is vardana so we have uh, mentioned here font family suppose we have to mention here air arial then we have to change this vardana by the arial arial narrow arial black mm, so we can change any font family and font size uh, we have mentioned here the size of font is 20 px so accordingly it will display in the 20 px and this is started by the curly bracket and closed by the curly bracket each each tag this is body tag body tag formatting is started by uh, body tag uh, it, After body tag we have been curly bracket and this is the closing braces and inside this we will mention here um, the formatting and same way in case of the heading color white and text align center and in case of the paragraph font family and font size so style is started from here and it is closed here and this is the closing of head and this is the program so this is body so when we will uh, execute this HTML program then body will be displayed in light blue because body formatting we have mentioned here and heading heading we have this is uh, the heading h1 and we have mentioned here the text my first css example so you can see here my my first css example so it is in white color and it's align it text align it center in row and third is the paragraph this is p tag slash p and the uh, formatting of p tag is Uh, font family vardana and font size 20 px so this is paragraph this will be displayed by this vardana font family and 20 px so uh, accordingly body will be closed and html will be closed so in case of the long file suppose we have been uh, we have uh, uh, 
uh, around 500 different headings. So the same formatting will be applied for all headings. So all headings will be in um, white color and in center aligned. And suppose we have we have 800 different paragraph in in the particular web page. So uh, each paragraph will have in Vardana font and 20 px. So uh, this is very interesting and it will um, somehow it will uh, uh, format our a whole web page in particular uh, same pattern. So this is helpful for uh, this type of work also. Uh, and uh, this will uh, obviously this will re reduce the uh, size of program, size of HTML program because all the formatting are done in one file and this is uh, and one block or one block. So this is kept inside the head area and before starting the body portion we have to mention all the formatting. So these are the benefit of cascading style sheet and that cascading style sheet you can see here uh, some more points related to this cascading style sheet. It saves a lot of work. So you can see I, I already I have already told you it saves a lot of work by using cascading style sheet programmer can control the layout of many pages all at once. So mm, this is the benefit. So it saves a lot of work by using cascading style programmer can control layout of many many web pages so it can save this way and these CSS are stored in .css extension file in case of external CSS file but in this program we don't have external CSS file we have internal CSS file we, we are writing this CSS file inside the head portion. So we can store it on different file also. Then it is called external CSS file. So the extension of that file will be .css. It defines the web page design. The CSS file or the CSS cascading style sheet defines the web page design layout. Its layout variation in display for different type of the devices and their skin size. So these are the benefit of this cascading style sheet. However, HTML is not more focused on formatting a web page and it does not contain more formatting tags. So uh, HTML does not contain more formatting tags. So the more formatting tags are kept in .css file. So these are the examples and this is also one, one example where we have uh, this exclamation doc type HTML. It means we are working on HTML5 and then HTML then head and inside the head we have given here style. Mm, style will start by the style sheet cast CSS by style and it will be closed by style closing of head and then body will start and inside this style we have mentioned here paragraph so paragraph is red and text align is center so all the text which is written in the paragraph that will be uh, in the center of the row and uh, the color of paragraph will be red so all paragraph you can see here two paragraph paragraph this is first paragraph and this is second one. so the same formatting will be applied on all paragraph so hello world this is uh, in red color and it is in uh, central line and the second one is these paragraph are styled with css so this is again in red color and it is also central line so body is started here and body is closed here and html is closed here so this way we are doing this mm, we are writing this, mm, this way uh, so this is one more program of uh, cascading style sheet and uh, we can also use some tag some uh, some names also for cascading style sheet so uh, this is called uh, css id selector the id selector uses id attribute of an html element to select the specific element the id is an element is is unique with a page id is element with unique within a page so so the id selector is used to select one unique element one unique to select an element with a specific id write the hash character so you can write hash character for creating any id followed by the id and name of id followed by the id of element so css rule low will apply to the html element id equals to para1 so we have mentioned here id equals to para1 so it will be start by the hash character so hash para1 hash para1 suppose we have different paragraph so uh, for paragraph 1 uh, we are giving particular type of formatting then uh, in that case we can write here this uh, id 
has been our and we have mentioned here tax align center and color is red so this formatting we have given to para one so this is id so how we will use this id you can see in next program so this is the program dot type html and this html is uh, html we are starting from here then head then style style is closed head is closed and body is started here so uh, we have mentioned here para one so this is para one and tax align center color is red and then we have uh, body and in body we have p id equals to para one so we are writing this uh, para one we are not giving uh, formatting to p uh, while in previous case we are giving property to we are giving formatting of p so we, we have mentioned here p p is a tag basically p is a tag and while in this case we have mentioned here para one so para one is not tag so we are creating a separate id this is user defined id so we have named this para one here and this is started by the hash character while in previous case p is not started by hash character because p is already been a tag it is predefined tag so in case of predefined tag it will be not started by the hash character while the user defined tag so user defined id it is it will be started by the hash sign hash para one and then curly bracket will start and then tax align center color is red so when we will apply this id uh, to paragraph suppose we are uh, applying this uh, with the heading one then we will we'll write here h1 id equals to para so the, this id can be applied with paragraph as well as it can be applied with the heading as well as it can be applied with table so anywhere we can apply uh, this para one this id so this is more flexible so that's why we are writing here para one so para one is the id p id equals to para one hello world it will be displayed in the center line while the another paragraph this p this p is not formatted p is, uh, it has its basic character so we are not applying this formatting with p so it will be displayed from left side this is left align and its color is uh, the black color so while in case of hello world hello world in hello world we have mentioned here id para one so it means hello world will be in center line and it will be in red color so this is this paragraph is not affected by the style so because we are not mentioning here p equals p id equals to para one so this is the closing of body and this is the closing of uh, html so this way we can uh, write the program and uh, in next program we will discuss in next class we will discuss about uh, some different point of the cascading style sheet like uh, classes of cascading style sheet so uh, today i have discussed about the id on how to use the id in um, uh, cascading style sheet so guys thank you very much i hope you understand this lecture and this presentation so uh, please do subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much